course. Oh, I'm Justin Spears. Okay, and say so what you're doing here. I walk this course every day. Uh, working with Wilshire District to design the first course in Cleveland, Tennessee. Then aim to have the whole course open in June. June, sick. Can you uh, explain what's going to be right here? Which holes? Yeah, so hole seven comes across the little like uh, land bridge there, mm -hmm. and the basket will be right between these four newly planted live oaks right there. Okay. Um, maybe an island hole eventually. We're still working on that. Hole eight will go through this patch of woods right here. Uh, I'm calling this one the cathedral. The way oh yeah, the I noticed that side. too. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be really cool. And then nine will follow this large open fairway right here. And the long basket will be kind of near this tree. The short one will be a little further up. Nice. And then uh, we had the city council out and we kind of showed them what this could be for Fletcher. Mm -hmm. And they were really excited about the idea. Oh, yeah. And they approved it in January. Very cool. The design. And now it's just. Uh, going into place. Sick. Uh, each uh, hole will have two tee pads and two baskets. Mm -hmm. So mixing that since there's four layouts. Um, but it'll be really beginner friendly, but mm -hmm. the long to longs are gonna have some teeth. A uh, course in town that you'd most likely comp it to, probably like West Side. Uh, so yeah, this, I mean, it's a Schuster course. Right. It's, it's got that, you know, some tight wooded lines. Mm -hmm. It's really expansive, open. Uh, fairways sure but uh yeah i think it ranks up there it's actually longer than edwards okay so the last measurement was 7732 feet okay long to long mm -hmm. That's, uh, that might get tweaked a little bit will will is amazing he comes out and he just he sees it that's awesome and i'm kind of the guy who's working on the ground to make it happen nice uh this will be a 10 right here okay this will actually have a single keypad nice um and there'll be a little gap you can see where the orange tape is uh -huh. that goes in short and then the longer will be a little further back beautiful uh we're planting some evergreens down the middle to, to divide these two fairways okay and it will actually be a hole 11 comes out from in the woods and we'll come out to here. Gotcha. Um, but these will be shorter, but we'll be, this was all cut to. Okay. I mean, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. See? I was like, this this didn't exist. None of this wow. existed. <laughs> and so the first part was to get it mowed down, mm -hmm. and then we'll. Uh, We'll be fighting that cut you for a few years. But yeah. Get some grass planted, and then in the fall we'll plant the evergreens through here. You'll have two nice little. Beautiful. Kind of Love that. This didn't exist here. Yeah. <laughs> Cut a little path. Mm -hmm. You can quickly get from this is a long basket of six right here. Okay. Which wraps all the way back around down there. Okay, so you're saying six basket right in here. Uh, white flag. White flag, okay, yeah. cool. It's 11. Mm -hmm. across the street of walkway. Uh, and 12. This is a real marshy area right here. Right. We didn't use any of this. Okay. Two. Long ish for a disc golf course walk. Mm -hmm. right, the course is so expansive. Right. They have really nice features. Oh, for sure. This property is huge. Yeah. Right. We're not throwing across any walk. Beautiful. Park. No, at every point we have tried to take into account the way the park is already used. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be in the way of it. Sure, that. yeah. And uh, we've, we've made several adjustments to maintain safety mm -hmm. and that people can continue to, to walk and to bike. And then just sunbathe out here right. without worrying about the new disc golf course sure. affecting that. Nice. In fact, the entire back nine is completely new. It's in the woods. It's off all of the regular paths. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say, like, this this might be one of the parks with the biggest area that has, you know, like, un, unused area. Basically, untapped potential that just, it's perfect for this. It really is. No, this, I'm so excited. And there's... There's hundreds of disc golfers in Cleveland. In fact, I meet everyone mm -hmm. everywhere I go in town. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And they have to travel, mm -hmm. you know, at yep. least 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, because I'm one of them. Yep. 12 will actually start right here. Okay. Yeah, hole 12 will push up and in okay. through there. Cool. Uh, and then 13, actually, I told you, you can get to it right from the 2009. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, we'll come back over the hill and down all the way down by that gas line. Perfect. There. Cool. That, that's a huge one. 
14, the long pad actually starts near that gas sign. Uh -huh. And you can see the little white flag right here. Yep. So it's a straight shot. And then the shorts are a little closer and actually curve into the woods here. There's a nice big tree and we've, we've cut out a little niche where there's a short basket. So they'll nice. be a little, just hyzer shot. Cool. Get around the tree. Awesome. Uh, between, it's about half and half wooded, mm -hmm. open. Um, some big bomber ones and mm -hmm. then some technical. Nice. Like that whole seven when those live oaks get a little bigger and there's right. grain, it's gonna be. Very nice. One part five um, maybe? I'm not sure yet. Okay. Kind of depends on how they play. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of contenders for a par five. Gotcha. Um, I think hole six is 777 feet right now. Okay. But it's it's pretty open. Mm -hmm. So depending on what trees we add, any kind of options. Right. Eighteen, which was the long tunnel shot. Uh huh. Come walk through here, and then fifteen starts right here. Okay. So potentially be a par five. Okay. So you can see the double white flag uh -huh. along the pad. Still got some work to do through here. Oh, I love these small trees here. They won't all be here. Okay. But that's, we're, we're walking carefully. You right, know, we do right. A big, a big work and then we read that. Sure, sure. Short pad over here. Mm -hmm. Some of these smaller guys will be out. Uh huh. And you can see the red flag right there. Uh huh. Up on the rocks. Oh, that's cool. You want to keep it technical, but not impossible. Yeah. Look at these rocks, aren't these cool? Yeah, these rocks. Okay, so that's the long basket? This is the short basket. Short basket, oh, okay, yeah. wow. Short's just right to there. Gotcha. So we'll, we'll make a little bit more. Sure. <laughs> but, cool. but the long actually goes all the way up that hill there. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, if you went around, we have we need to clear some small stuff here, but mm -hmm. if you went to where that shed is, it's actually totally open. Wow. Already. Yeah. So. Shoot, that is challenging. <laughs> so this is the one you said challenge. you'd consider a part five. Yeah, five. Gotcha, yeah. possibly. Uh, and so you, then you cut up to the hill there mm -hmm. and throw yeah. down and we'll just buy 16. Okay, perfect. So when did you guys start? November. November, okay, so you've seen it and kind of most of the seasons now. Maybe some, some more dirt to help alleviate right. some of the muddy ones. Uh, 16, we're going to try to maintain. It's like straight out of Disc Golf Valley. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. We're going to try to maintain a lot of those. Oh, cool. Um, the long basket, you can see up there, uh -huh. the white flag. Yep. Um, and you'll actually have to, once you play to the short basket. Here, right. And you should have seen this a couple weeks ago. I mean, it still looks like a war zone. Yep. But the vines were just insane. <laughs> um, so you'll have this shot right here. Oh, wow. There's a couple lanes to get up and around. Yes. To get to the long basket. So this is a par three? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> this is at least a four. Nice. Oh, wow. So it starts. Right up the top, probably. Yeah, up the top, and you're trying to get down and then up. Nice, so landing zone kind of yeah. in this area, if you can get so around. We'll make sure there's a nice, like, couple ways to get into this landing zone, and then, like, some of this stuff will clear out, so you've got a couple different paths to right. get around up there. Nice. 18 is actually a little bit combo of both. Nice. Nice big open into a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I went to a Champions Cup uh -huh. weekend. Oh, really? And. W.R. Jackson is just, just, just gorgeous. Premier. Um, and I got excited because there's a couple <laughs> holes where I'm like, I think we're going to have something We can replicate that. that. Let's do it. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. In this park, you're saying? Or? No, oh, in the, in the town. Really? Nice. The long keypad will be up here. Okay. You can see the short keypad down there. Got it. Um, and right here, actually, if you hit that with a hyzer forehand, uh -huh. it actually opens up and you can go all the way okay. back. So it's kind of a snake where it goes out this way a little bit, back to the left, and then back down to the right. So if you're hyzer forehanding, it'll carry the entire back down to the right. That's right. Uh, or you'll have a couple of gaps here. We still got a little bit of work for you to Nice. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a tough shot. Uh -huh. 
you should have seen it two days ago. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't have seen the shot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once you come down, you can see like there's actual lines. Mm-hmm. Okay. This will be opened up too. Okay. You'll have a nice big one through there once you come on. Okay. The undulations back here, you don't even know them. You know, you just, you have no idea that there's so much hillage. Yeah, this forehand line, you got through. You can come all the way down into here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Look how open that is down there already. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, from from the short, mm -hmm. you get a nice... Uh, trying to decide how many vines to leave up. They look so cool. I know it. Down. Uh-huh. Vine-wise. This poor cedar will probably have to go. It's dead. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so, eventually, this will be a little wider right uh -huh. here in the middle. Yep. Short back. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. Short, the yellow in the center nice. Even got some more rocks here. I love that. But they'll, this one might have to go. This one I definitely want to keep because I think that's just awesome. Oh, right, yeah. the last little guardian yes. before you get here. Something you can see through too is just it makes it so much more interesting. It does. And I do love this vine, but I'd I'd like there to be a line there. And right, here. right. Nice. Whew. That's a long one too, man. That's crazy, because you can see it. You can see the entire way. But, man, how far do you think this is? Uh, I've got all the distance. Okay. I had a memorized one. <laughs> so, 17, long to long is 502. 502. Short to long, which is mm -hmm. essentially what we saw, right. is 352. 352, nice. Which is really not that bad. No. I mean... And technically, what, it's like probably not even that far downhill like 12 feet maybe yeah. something like that all look like that yeah um so the long pad originally the long pad was going to go there uh-huh and actually go all the way down through there right the obvious fairway however this is the locals favorite place hammocks to come take mm -hmm. hammocks to lay on blankets to take pictures right. and I knew that a lot of neighbors were not going to be pleased sure. so I started digging around in here and found a gap okay and so they opened this up for us so the long pad we'll probably go here uh-huh we'll, we'll play with it yeah um one of our volunteers out <laughs> our community has been so amazing oh yeah I bet just coming out and doing everything yeah. Um, the short pad will probably go right on the other side of this pine here. Wow, that is a tree, man. <laughs> but you got to throw it down the stairway. Uh huh. And then into that wooded gap. Okay. Which this way till you see it. Yeah. I got some of this. Yeah, you got to get down here to here. And I mean, all the rocks will get opened up. Yeah, when we notice there's a big clearing in here. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Who did this? <laughs> right? That's good. We'll be right in here. Okay. In the center of this opening. Right. Uh, and then the long one, we'll actually have to get through that gap, and there's a little... Yeah, this will be a three. Of course. <laughs> and the long basket is right out there where it opens up. And that's hole 18. Very cool. So do you have a favorite hole so far? Me? Yep. I, I am very excited about 17. 17, yeah. Uh, 16 as well. Mm -hmm. 15 scares me. <laughs> but it still needs a little work. Nice. Uh, I'm very pleased and feel just a lot better in my heart about 18. Right. First of all, this is really cool. Oh, yeah. But also not interfering with the people. Yes, the absolutely. That's great. This is brand new. Yeah, space. I know it. Perfect. That is just too cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing your sharing your passion out here. It's just, just clear and obvious that you, you know, this is what you want to do. You know, it's just, it's great. Right, and uh, you know, we're we're opening an academy next month to start teaching people who've never played before awesome. how to get into the games mm -hmm. so that they can enjoy this park because it's, it's not just for the existing just yeah. golfers. Oh yeah. And then we'll be opening a pro shop. 
well. Very cool. And, uh, just bring, just That's awesome. You know, Cleveland's always been the town. Like when you first start playing disc golf, you're like, okay, I got to figure out what's in Cleveland. It's like, crickets, nothing. <laughs> thing we've kind of piqued our interest with a potential mm -hmm. little pitch and putt down sure. the course. Sure. Yeah, Cleveland. in Cleveland. That's what I was thinking. It's about the same size as Dalton. Right. So. Right. Very cool. Uh, no, we're so excited about this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, just counting down the days. Cool. Over there along the street. Um, and four actually opens up at the end of this. Okay. So the short basket of four and the long is actually in this second field. Uh-huh. Uh, two count of one starts right on the other side of the gazebo. Okay. For the long. And you can see the basket between the two largest trees out there. Okay. Um, the short one will be on the hill, uh -huh. and the short pad will be a little further up. And you can see the two flags, that's T of two. Okay. And that, that goes all the way down across, and there's a little inlet there. And then three cuts back around this way, mm -hmm. and then four along the line is actually a big horseshoe. Okay, it comes in backside over here. So yeah, there's a big kind of like hyzer forehand, uh -huh. and then probably one more. Nice. Very cool. Hey. Well, awesome. Thank you so much.